Hello. Welcome you again. Now in this series we are starting with principles of surgery and this is the first video we are going to attend in this group principles of surgery and in this heading we are taking up the first video as how to describe an operation in surgery in surgery how to describe an operation what are the headings under which we are going to describe any type of operation so whenever we are describing any surgery or procedure that has been done over any organ we'll have to remember these four important things the step should be like this first of all we are supposed to describe the organ the organ to be operated so focus on the organ which organ we are going to operate we must describe that particular organ whenever we are going to describe any operative procedure like the second one any other organs associated with the main organ we are operating upon or any other things or procedures that is involved we should describe these things also along with the first point what we are doing this is the third point what is to be done it should be described and finally we must add any terms to explain how and where or where the procedure is being done so these are the four important things one by one we'll discuss along with examples to make it more clear so first of all we are taking up with the organ to be operated upon right like in this slide you can see the various examples where we are describing the organ to be operated for example any procedure or any surgical operative procedure where l a p a r is used for example laparotomy abdomen it means something related to abdomen lapar right so prefix is lapar similarly laparous laparous means related to flank right cysto these are the prefixes we are going to use with the operative terminology cysto cysto is related to bladder urinary bladder then pylo pylo is related to any procedure that is being done over the renal pelvis here we are focusing on the organ to be operated then nephro nephro means anything related to the kidney parenchyma or renal parenchyma then masto or mammo both the terms they are used for any procedure related to the breast then coli coli means anything related to the bile or the biliary system any operative procedure over the biliary system then col or colon this is related to large bowel like colostomy right one of the example similarly hystero hystero means related to uterus 
has taught me, has tracked me. Then thoraco, thoraco is related to chest, thoracoscopy, thoracotomy. Then rhino, rhino means related to nose. And similarly urethro, urethro is related to the urethra, right? So in this slide we have seen that we must describe the organ to be operated. This should be the first point whenever we are describing any operation. The examples we have seen. Let's go to the second point. And the second point was to describe any other organs or organ or things involved in the procedure. For example, if we are using the word litho, Litho means something related to the stone. Stone is present in the kidney and any procedure is being done for that. We must have the term nephrolitho. Right? Example, nephrolithotomy. What we are doing, will, that will come later. But the two words, nephro means related to kidney. Litho means related to stone. Right? Similarly, the doco, D O C H O, doco means related to duct. Right? For example, coli doco lithotomy means opening up the bile duct. Coli doco. So here, the second term we are using doco. Then Similarly, angio. Angio means anything related to the vessel. Could be blood or bile carrying. Then reno. Reno is related to kidney. Okay. The third important point. Till now we have described the organ that is to be operated. In addition to that, the second point any other organ that is involved or thing that is involved in the procedure and finally this one the second last is the third point that is what we are going to do so we must describe what is to be done for example the otomy otomy whenever wherever we are using the word otomy means to cut or to open that particular thing right for example nephrolithotomy opening up what opening up kidney for what for stones so nephrolitho and otomy nephrolithotomy right similarly pyelolithotomy Similarly, cystolithotomy and so on. Whenever we are using the word, the suffix ectomy, ectomy means to remove something. Ectomy. For example, cystectomy, removal of the cyst. Cholecystectomy, removal of the gallbladder. Similarly, another suffix could be plasty. Plasty means to change the shape or size of any organ. For example, if any child is presenting to us with deformed ears, congenitally, and for that particular purpose, we can go for autoplasty. Right? Then pexy to change the position of that particular organ. So pexy, for example, orchidopexy, fixing the testes, undescended testes, or ep 
topic one. We are fixing somewhere. So Pexi. Then Rafi. Rafi means swing together two things. Like in Harni or Rafi. Right? These are the suffixes used for used to describe what is we are doing. Then oscopy. Oscopy means to look into. Ostomy. Ostomy means to create an opening in, to create an stoma. Like ileostomy. Ileum plus ostomy. Right? Colostomy. Colon plus creating an opening of colon over the anterior abdominal wall that ostomy. Then another term is paxi. Just focus on this paxi and this differentiated with paxi. Paxi means changing the position of some organ and fixing it. Paxi means to crush something. Right? Then graphy or gram. These are taking the images of and used in imaging study. Procedural task where we are taking the images of the organ like pilography example or pilogram right IVU urography intravenous urography so these are the examples of the procedures what is to be done we must describe and finally the fourth point that is if there is some additional term we must add it to qualify or to explain how or where the procedure is done for example okay we are doing nephrostomy ostomy means to create an opening here nephro means related to kidney but how we are doing it? Percutaneous. So term percutaneous we are adding here means via the skin, through the skin we are doing it. Percutaneous nephrostomy. Right? The complete one. This is operative procedure. Then another term could be trans. Trans means across something you are traveling throughout. So across or through. This is trans. Right? Can you think of any any operative procedure that is starting with trans? Okay, you must write in the comment section. We'll again come back to it. Then similarly, the anti-grade anti-grade word is related to forward, right? Anti-grade urography or Retrograde backwards, retrograde urography, RGU, retrograde urography. This is used for stricture urethra, right? So these are the terms we must use and these are the four important points we must take care whenever we are describing any operation in the case sheet or in our day-to-day -day routine practice or life. Right, four important points. Quickly, first was describe the organ. Second, add any other organ or things that is involved in the procedure. Third, what is to be done. And finally, how or where the procedure is being done. We are taking few examples like colidoco deodonostomy. Coli, doco, deodonostomy. Coli means something related to biliary system. Doco means something related to any duct. Or deodonostomy, deodonum is also involved. Ostomy means we are creating an opening between the bile duct and the duodenum. Right? Similarly, pyelolithopaxy. 
the destruction of pelvic calcial stones the rhinoplasty v shaping of the nose bilateral mastopexy breast lifts augmentation the loop ileostomy external opening in a small intestine with two sides two openings we can see then flexible cystro urethroscopy the examination or inspection of internal the endoluminal part of the bladder and urethra that is with the help of flexible cystoscope then percutaneous arteriogram then arterial tree imaging is being done by direct puncture injection to the skin this is percutaneous arteriogram right so these are the four important points we we have just discussed along with few examples here you can see and this is used to describe any type of operation in medical science any query anything not clear you can write to me we'll discuss okay so thank you for this session bye bye till next one thank you